Here we have Derby Telegraph Chief Football Writer Steve Nicholson. Steve, you've been to the Derby County press conference today ahead of the Rotherham United match on Saturday. What's the Rams team news? Yeah, if fans remember, uh, Tommins uh, was injured at Huddersfield last Saturday, uh, ankle injury. He's going to miss the game. Uh, he's still not returned to training. He's having treatment on the ankle. And also Paul Clement has told me that he's touch and go, Tom, for the QPR game on Tuesday. So, you know, they're going to need to find a replacement for Tom. Uh, Jeff Hendrick is fit again. Jeff missed two games, one at Blackburn, one at Huddersfield, with a bout of, uh, of illness. And his position was taken by Jacob Butterfield. So, you know, uh, Paul Clement there has got uh, a decision to make on whether Jeff comes back or he continues, continues with Butterfield. Uh, the only other bit of kind of uh, team news is uh, Craig Bryson, who I watched play for the under-21s on Monday against Newcastle United. It was his comeback game after almost three months out with a knee injury. He played 90 minutes that game. I spoke to him afterwards. Uh, he, he felt, you know, he, he got through the game. He felt his fit, match fitness needed building a little bit. But uh, Craig has such, uh, such energy levels, such fit, good fitness levels, that uh, he, he's capable of, of kind of stepping in any time. And Paul Clement told me that it's not out of the question that Bryson could be in the 18 against Rodham. So a, lot, a lot of options there for, for Paul Clement to, to consider, Steve. Yeah. It looks like a quite tough call for him to make. It is a tough call. He's actually described it as uh, the toughest team selection he's, he's faced so far in his, in his time as Derby's head coach. And you can just imagine the, the, the kind of training session at uh, a small farm today. Paul Clement described the training session as a standout session, one of the best he's had since he came to the club. So, And I think that's down to competition for places. We just spoke about, is it Jeff Hendrick or Jacob Butterfield? So both of them will want, will want to be in the team. Jeff was playing really well before he got his illness, uh, so he'll want to get back in. Jacob Butterfield produced his best performance, I thought, in the Derby shirt at Huddersfield last Saturday, so he'll want to keep his place. Uh, Tom Innes, who comes in for Tom Innes? Is it Andrews Feynman? He came on against Huddersfield. He did very well. He stretched Huddersfield a bit. He's got plenty of kind of energy and pace. Uh, although, intriguingly, Paul Clement said, you know, there are other options and, and, and maybe he brings in a midfielder, which maybe suggests a change of shape. So we're going to have to see. Uh, then there's the Bryson issue. You know, does he come into the 18? Also, who misses out in the 18 as well? That's also a difficult choice for, for Clement because there's so many players available. You know, left back, Craig Forsyth, Stephen Warnock, both pushing for a place. Chris Baird, the skipper, can't get in the team at the moment. He'll be desperate to get back in. So lots of options, Paul Clement's going to have to think carefully about it, but I can imagine the training session today you know, was real high intensity, everyone looking to impress, everyone wants to be involved. In Rotherham United on Saturday, they're in the bottom three, but Rams have got to be careful. Yeah, it's, 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 it's the case, isn't it? I mean, you look at games like this, Derby run beaten in eight, they're the form team in the Championship. Rotherham, I think, have won only two of 13 games this season, nine points, second bottom. You know, these are the games when everyone looks at them and says, oh, that's a home banker. But football, you know, it's never quite as simple as that. And Paul Clemens, quite rightly today, has sent out a warning to say, look, this, this isn't always the case. Uh, Paul's so thorough in, in his preparation. This is one of the things I like about him. He's very thorough. Uh, he analyses opposition and he, he came into the press conference today armed with a, some stats of his own and uh, which I thought was impressive uh, and he said that Rotherham uh, the form against the top eight clubs would put them fifth in the division which is quite impressive while Derby's form against the bottom eight clubs in the championship would leave them about 16th so it is about being focused getting the mentality right focusing on the job in hand and as I say uh, Paul Clement is a great one for saying, you know, control the controllables, if you like, what you t you can control, because there are things in the 90 minutes you can't control. So Derby know that uh, this isn't straightforward. Uh, they know that Rotherham will come and, uh, and Rotherham will see this as a scalp uh, if they can get anything here at the IPRO. Uh, but as I say, Derby are in good form at the moment, they're in a good place, and uh, if, if they get their game right, I, I think they'll be too strong for Rotherham.